Hey, what's up guys? Grim here. And as you can see, I'm back from my vacation. So, I'm getting right into it with a uh, tutorial. So, let's get into this. Today I have a tutorial on the best render settings for After Effects that have little to no quality loss at all and the smallest file type because I'm most most people just say, "Oh, why don't you render in Vegas?" right? But I have a Mac, and there's no Sony Vegas for Mac, which actually sucks really bad. And I've wanted to um, get Sony Vegas, but I can't get it until I get my $2,000 for the computer. And I still have yet to receive any donations, even though people have said they will. But either way, I don't really care about that, so let's just get right into the tutorial. Let's make a... let's just import our files, first of all. There we go. Uh, let's just get one little thing. That's probably in here. Hmm. Editing contest. There we go. And let's just use a kill streak clip. Perfect. And let's obviously make our oops new composition. Let's name this render settings. And 12 view to 720, lock aspect ratio, square pixels. And let's use my presets 59.94 frames per second. Okay. Let's drag in our clip. Let's just spread it out here. It's going to lag a lot. Um, I should be upgrading my RAM soon. But, yeah, so let's just put it full quality here, and you can see it's pr pretty good quality, right? Got our quality. So now let's just add a quick, hmm, color correction. Just quickly. Uh, let's just use a preset that. I have, let's just go with, ah, oh, that looks gross, um, hmm, nope, 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 go away, go away, there we go, hmm, oh, that's cool, yeah, let's go with that, got our color corrections, so then the file will be a little bit bigger, and now let's get into the render settings. So you're going to composition, add to render queue, and you're going to come up with this. We got our output to, um, I put mine onto the desktop, but that's, you can put it to wherever you want. Go output module, go to lossless, just click on that. Video output, depth, make sure it's millions of colors, pre-multiplied color. Um, check audio output, make sure that it's, it's at 48 kilohertz. 16-bit audio, stereo audio, and not mono. Make sure it's not mono, otherwise the sound will suck. And then when you see video output, just click Format Options. And right here, this is where this is a big file um, size thing. Video codec. Turn, go to H.264, and make sure quality is at 100. And that's all you should change here. Don't change any of this uh, advanced settings and bitrate settings. Just click OK. Now you're done with lossless. And then go Best Settings. Okay, and you'll see use this comps frame rate, 59.94. Do not click that. Click use this frame rate and type in 29.97. And considering the fact that your composition is 59.94 frames per second, it should, it should uh, Twixter and everything that needs 59.94 should render out fine. It's just that when you upload to YouTube, which I'm assuming you're planning on doing, um, th it, the YouTube codec automatically um, halves it and puts it to... 29.97 frames per second anyway so and plus if you have it at 59.94 it doubles the file size so that's a big big factor in um, the render settings and that's all you're gonna do with um, render make sure the resolution's at full the quality's at best size is at 1280 by 720 and frame blending put it on for checked layers right okay motion blur on for checked layers click OK and then You'll see when I click this arrow here, I have something called main render. Now, this is cool because instead of having to change it every time, what you can do is you can click the arrow and click make template. 
and then you don't have to change any of this. It'll, it will, um, it'll, it'll change. It see, it, you can already see that the output info is H.264. Um, the frame rate's all the same, right? And then you can change your your settings to um, whatever you want. It's, it's like a custom thing. So then every time, all you have to do is click the arrow and click your thing. Mine's called main render. So that's cool. And also, if you go to make template, you can make the movie default main render. And yeah, it's it's kind of like a a default thing. It's cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I am well. Yeah, I guess I'm grim, and I'm out. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed. Right back